Okay, this is going to be Virginia Roberts Giffrey. You know, she got rich from a settlement with uh, Jeffrey Epstein, and what's she going to do to Andrew? So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, I know you're watching, so please subscribe. It makes a big difference. And thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So here's the deal. Um, the Queen is not paying for Andrew's defense. I mean, she's already said that. And uh, it looks like he's trying to sell that uh, chalet that he's got. So, you know, let's see what's going on. Is Virginia Roberts Giffrey uh, really going after the juggler? So, Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow, Joe Lee, uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very in interesting person. And uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him. Um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well at the Clown College there uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that. And then uh, he's done other things in his life, and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards, he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful. They're easy to use. Um, the art on them is amazing, and if you know your right away system, you're not going to have a problem, you know, deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory and fun, fun, fun to look at. So, you know, I do this so that you can have a look at these cards. Uh, and, you know, if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards, otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time. And uh, I think it's just you're missing out on a lot. So, you know, this uh, Le Grand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot, I love using these. Okay, Prince Andrew and Giffrey. But let's take a couple of seconds just to meditate. That easy. Prince Andrew, I mean, it looks like the royal family has given up on him. And uh, Fergie, is she supporting him somewhat? I mean, so they've got to sell that chalet. Whatever money comes from that, I guess is going to be, they're saying to pay his American lawyers? I don't know. And Charles, I mean, if it's left up to Charles, I don't know how, how secure he can feel about that. And then, of course, uh, Virginia Roberts Giffrey. She wants revenge. So, six cards for Andrew. <clears throat> Just tell the story if there's one there. But, I mean... Let's see. She's going to get him. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, this doesn't look good. One, two, three, four, five, six. The signifier card then for that is this Ten of Wands. So wands are uh, actions, uh, emotions, plans, uh, moving forward. <clears throat> this Ten of, of Wands is really, I mean, this fellow is chained. You know, if he's changed stationarily, then he's just got to hold all these issues up in his trunk and he looks exhausted. So the signifier of this is um, is not good if that's Andrew. 
Um, the challenge to that is, uh, wow, a tower moment. I mean, you know, it is the end of something. These people have been thrown from the tower, falling down, these uh, acrobats. Well, not really. Now, let's look at it closely. This is one of those tension poles, and it's got on the end of it a ring, and she is actually still suspended from that ring. Likewise, another uh, tension pole, there's a ring right there. He's falling off the ring, but he's still holding on to the pole. So, you know, it's certainly not in a position anybody wants to be in. So this weary uh, uh, elephant, as a signifier, is challenged by that this, it looks like you're going to drop it. That's what's going to happen. The uh, base of this reading, um, with this five of wands, is just pointless uh, arguing amongst people. This isn't deadly, but it's annoying. It's not uh, getting a thing done, and it's just the most, uh, yeah. So this is um, pointless arguing. So... The base of the reading is the pointless argument of this case. Interesting. The past of this, then, with this ace of coins, look, you come into this with that much value, okay? You know, this isn't a big, big platter, a huge offer of an amazing amount of value. No, you came in with that much, and uh, you've not done yourself any favors. Uh, this is Andrew. In the sky, this reading uh, is the emperor. And um, so the emperor, in this, in this card, this is a fellow who's opening the show. He's walking out on stage and saying, come on in and look at what we've got here. Is this Charles? And then the um, hopes and fears for the first part of this, or sorry, the uh, final likely outcome, is uh, the uh, King of Swords. So the King of Swords in this uh, uh, deck, and uh, remember that the Swords are truth, justice, rules, law, and this guy is is a performer. He's like the guy outside calling into the tent. Um so, yeah, but he's the king. I mean, he gets this done. He gets people in that tent to watch the show. So if this is Andrew, and we're trying to find out, you know, what's the worst that's going to happen here with this Virginia Giffrey thing, it, it's a heavy load. It's a pending disaster. All this arguing, when he had so little value to begin with, his brother is getting ready to open the act. And, um, and with this king of swords, you know, I don't know. Why do you want to bring anybody else to this side show? That's the only thing I can think of. Um... The last four cards, the and I'm going to try to put them up this way. The last four cards, the um, self of this whole question about Andrew and Giffrey is the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Wow. Is it actually that uh, tenuous? Uh, that's in the environment of what? That's in the environment of the Knight of Cups. Well, at least the Knight is a fighter. This guy is holding on to a cup of compassion, emotion, uh, but he's, he's come off the wire, to tell you the truth. So this Knight... Uh, is you know trying to find get through his act uh you know this emotional com situation is um wow is the environment that this will of fortune is in so that's not good um the hopes and the fears then with this ace of swords okay look at what a much more imposing ace of swords is than this was an ace uh, of coins so the, another offer swords truth justice rules law oops that's exactly what he doesn't need to come forward, but it looks like that is what's going to come forward. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing, uh, right here, wow, this Eight of Swords, truth, justice, rules, law, just really surrounded by that and feeling imprisoned. But you know what? We, all, we know this person isn't. This isn't real. These uh, knives and this act pop out of the back of this thing. Nobody really throws them at this person. She's never been in danger, but she doesn't necessarily know it. Look, she's blind, bound up, blindfolded. Does she think that this was the real thing? Or is this Prince Andrew knowing he can get out of it? So that's pretty interesting. Uh, just talk about it quickly again. So with the 10 of uh, ones as a signifier, this is that heavy load. It was going to be a disaster. The arguing doesn't help. He had diminished himself so much ahead of time, and Charles is on his way in to start the show. Then we've got this King of Swords saying, who is this, though? Swords are truth. Ah, the truth is telling you, come on in and see what's going on here. Well, it's just in the, in the karmically, the truth is saying, you know, it's a show. You might as well come in and see it. You won't be sorry. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is the self of the whole question. It's all a crapshoot, but it's in the environment of this knight who has just about lost his footing on this compassionate high wire. And uh, the hopes and the fears for this, it looks like this ace of truth, justice, rules, and law is showing up on the scene. And Andrew is left feeling really uh, scared to death, but maybe it's not as bad as... Uh, we might think it is so it may be totally embarrassing he may lose all of his uh, um, um, gravitas but he may survive it 
I'll say it every time, the cards just don't lie. So that's what the cards tell me, but I'm not sure how you're feeling about all this. So let me know. Put something in the comments. Also, if you let me know what you want me to read on, that's what I'll read on. Otherwise, I'm just taking a stab in the dark. So, But anyway, I hope you did enjoy that read. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.